Oh, welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and currently I'm playing on normal mode. But like I mentioned in the last video, if you want me to play on hard mode, let me know in the comment section below. I explained the pros and cons of hard mode in the last video, so if you want to hear those, just go and watch the last video. But yeah, we are currently heading to Willy's shack because we are or willie's workshop because we are looking for a new fuel pump for our motorbike because some son of a bitch named leon shot our motorbike broke our fuel tank and now we're leaking fuel everywhere so yeah we're now on the lookout for some uh, mechanics workshop so we can find some new parts for our bike and there is also a moth going absolutely crazy at the bottom of my screen and he needs to go away hang on a minute <sighs> a cough Fucking moths. <laughs> Jesus, I don't need something like that distracting me. But yeah, we're currently in a tunnel heading over to uh, Willie's uh, workshop. And uh, this uh, tunnel is filled with quite a few freakers, so we're having to be careful. Got me torch on though, so if any of them decide to run at me, I will be able to um, stun them and shoot them in the face. But yeah, make sure you have a look around inside this tunnel because uh, you might just rush through it. But if you actually look in some of the little rooms at the side, you can actually find some uh, extra things in that. Oh, there we go. Scrap. Lovely. Used for crafting upgrades and things, you know, for like your weapons and your motorbike and stuff like that. But yeah, there are like a few little corner rooms that you can go in. Have I got my... Yeah, I've still got my pistol. I'm going to make sure I load, reload my gun, actually. Right. What's that? But if you want to look for supplies, just use your survival vision. See? It lets you know. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got oh. it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Uh, stop telling me what to do, uh, boozer. I was already going to come in here. I was going to come in here anyway because I wanted to get the supplies. See, look at that. Look at that. Some cheeky supplies hidden around the corner here, you know? Because normally you'd come through this door and you'd walk straight up that way, wouldn't you? And you wouldn't think to turn around. That's why they do it. They do this sneaky stuff in video games and it actually infuriates me. <laughs> okay, keep your gun up because you never bloody know in this game, do you? Also a lot of blah! Oh, fuck me. Oh! Oh, now it's telling me to press square now. <laughs> Thought I had to tap circle. There we go. Lovely. Oh, brilliant. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, step on his face. Um, Yeah, but you do have your knife throughout the whole game. You know, your knife is the only thing that doesn't really break, you know. The only thing you can really rely on. But the problem with the knife is it doesn't really do that much damage, you know. So even though you've always got a knife, it isn't the best thing you can have. Whereas, obviously, your weapons are brilliant. But they run out of ammunition. So if you run out of ammo, you're screwed. And the same thing with like other melee weapons. If you find like a baseball bat or a steel pipe or something like that, they are a lot more effective than a knife. But they have a durability where they will start to break um, over time, and then they eventually they completely break. So you've got to realize that you've always got to keep on top of your weaponry and stuff like that, and maintain it. Make sure you've always got the right gear for the right mission and stuff like that. You know. Like, if you're going to deal with a freaker horde, you know you're going to want to have a lot of molotovs, grenades, I guess, a big heavy gun with a lot of ammo, you know. Or if you're going out hunting bandits, you might want to make sure you've got uh, pistol ammo. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. We set off the bloody, uh, <laughs> we set off the car alarm. But yeah, if you're doing like a bandit camp, you might, you might want to make sure that you've got, um, like, uh, pistol ammo so you can... You can put like silencers on your pistols and that, and then you can go in there more sneakily and things like that. So you always want to make sure you're prepared for the situations, you know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, I'm talking from a hard difficulty perspective, you know, because like I said, I've only just started playing this on normal, so I'm not sure how different it is, you know. It might be barely any differences in the difficulty, but yeah, it was, um, it was a bit of a pain in the butt when I started doing the hard mode playthrough. Don't know if I'm supposed to come through here, but I'm going to come in here anyway, just in case there's any cheeky items in here. Oh, there we go. See what I mean? Always hot. Oh, no, he hung himself. Oh, that's not good. You should have done that, my friend. You should have uh, you should have just stayed in here, built yourself a weapon. You know, there's quite a few things in here. You should have built yourself some sort of weapon, and you should have gone out there and kicked the absolute shit out of the freakers, you know? There's no point killing yourself in this situation. I know, obviously, you're scared, you know, you don't want to be torn apart, but I feel like you might as well just go out there guns blazing, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like if I ever wanted to die, I'd make sure I'd go out guns blazing. I'd take down a load of scumbags with me, you know? I feel like that would be a good idea. 
No point just hanging yourself, is there? Oh dear. <laughs> Boom! How the hell did you survive that? I blew his arm off. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, he took a nibble. He had a nibble. Shit, I'm reloading. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is he dead? I think I blew this one's leg off. Damn, I did, I did really badly then. Sorry, I was. Uh, I had to reload my gun at probably the worst time ever. Never go into a combat situation with a half-loaded gun. <laughs> terrible thing to do. Absolutely terrible thing to do. And I always do it in video games. I'm just going to build uh, a couple of medical kits. I mean, I've got two, three, four. That'll do, and I'm going to have one now. There we go, 100% health. Like I said, though, the bandages are not the best thing in the game. You can get better kinds of healing items, but the bandages do heal you for, like, I think it's about 35%. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. We've got some shotgun ammo. Just what I bloody needed. <laughs> Just what I needed. I guess the game knew. The game bloody knew that I was playing and I needed more ammo. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. Huh. How many more times you got left? Oh. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Oh, dear. But yeah, when you uh, destroy Freaker Nests, I think I read something in this game, like in one of the tutorials, that mentioned that if you uh, take down a Freaker Nest, you need to, if you do it uh, during the day, you're going to have a lot more um, Freakers that are going to run out from the nest and attack you. Probably like a bee's nest, I guess, or a wasp nest. But if you do it at night and you burn the nest then, the less Freakers will come out. Also, there is weather in this game as well, and weather does affect the Freakers, you know. So, I'm pretty sure I saw that when it snows in this game, the Freakers actually become more crazy. You'd think they'd become more slow, but I'm pretty sure they become more crazy. I could be getting that completely wrong, though, I'm not sure. But I know the weather does affect the Freakers, how they move, how they perform, and stuff like that. So, that's one thing you want to... Uh, also be prepared for, you know, because sometimes you might plan on taking down like a hold of freakers, you know, and it might be not appropriate weather. So it's best to like come back when it's a different type of weather, you know, as I'm saying, that's why I like this game. I like all the little details, you know, I like all the little things like that, the nice little touches and stuff like that, you know, love it. Oh, whoops. Am I supposed to get on the back of the bike? <laughs> whoops. Are we going then? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, he's going to give me a backy. Right, come on in, mate. Let's go. Crazy willies. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? Yes, we do. Good morning. Let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. I mean, heading up north means there's probably going to be more snow, so that's not good. Like I said, I think the Freakers are better in snow. I'm not sure, though. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. thinking and I already know it's a bad idea you just ride on through you pull as many of them off as you can and I just I go in through the back down that hill find the garage shit All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need you ride back we ride the hell out after I kill a few of the bastards I swear to God you got a death wish like I said not tonight oh, you stinking son of bitches! Right, so we're gonna try and get, I think, you see where that motel sign is, sort of in that area there, there is gonna be the workshop. Now uh, you can sneak through the whole of this area without being seen, you can take down a few if you want to, you don't need to, 
but it is good to like actually look around a bit because there is quite a lot of supplies. And I think in one of these rooms somewhere, I found a silencer for my pistol. It's, it looks like a tin can. It looks like a Pepsi can or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like you just put a Pepsi can on the end of his gun and shot people to make it silent. But yeah, um, there is a new kind of... Um, Goddamn newts. Go yeah, on. newts. Get out of here, you little shits. Yeah, these newts, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. I don't know if they are like... I don't know if they are like um, children freakers. They look a little bit like kid freakers. They're actually a bit weird. They don't, they're not very strong. You can actually destroy them very easily but um yeah i don't know if they've got any like extra abilities like maybe if they spot you they'll go off and find some of the more stronger freakers to come help them i'm not sure if they do stuff like that but i know they are they are very easy to kill but they are very quick and annoying yeah i, I already know i already know i mean every game in history you can hide in the bushes <laughs> damn it's a bloody windy day today isn't it this is like what the weather was when i went on holiday last weekend this is what the weather was just constantly this Gusts of wind, flipping hurricane force winds at some points, even though we don't really get hurricanes. And um, also house stones. It was bloody mental. It was weird being in a nice hot, hot tub whilst being in a house stone shower. It was very, very weird on the body. It felt dodgy. <laughs> yeah, see? The boots knife damage is low, but it's unbreakable, like I just mentioned then. Oh, look, there's uh, some kerosene there, I think that is. Gasoline? Kerosene? Oh, yeah, kerosene. I think you can use these to make molotovs. Yeah, kerosene and a beer bottle. You can see the little newts just skulking around on the roofs, can't you? Little little creepy turd bags, isn't they? There's also, um, oh, I think they're called screamers, but they are this like, they look like a female uh, freaker with long, old, weird hair. They look like an old lady. And when they spot you, they scream and they uh, alert other freakers in the area to your presence. So make sure it's like that. You always got to make sure what kind of freakers you're dealing with. This is what I'm saying. This is why if you do play this game on hard, I recommend it because it is a lot better on hard. I mean, so far, I'm not seeing much difference between normal and hard, except I haven't really been attacked yet. But I'm sure when I start getting smacked, I'll notice a difference because practically two hits and you're dead near enough in hard mode. So you're always, it's always preferable to sneak around, you know. But like I said, let me know if you want me to play on hard. I would prefer to play on normal on YouTube just because I'll be able to make more progress and I'll die a lot less, you know. But if you want me to play on hard, I've already been playing on hard on my own. So I can do it, you know. Like I said, I just prefer normal. But like I said, if you want to see it, just let me know in the comments. But this, is, uh, this video is being recorded directly after part one and I'll be doing part three after this. So if you do want me to play on hard, I will do it in part four. But yeah, as you can see, 100% durability on this baseball bat. So this will be a good weapon, but obviously the more you use it, the uh, the lower the durability is going to get. Oh, is that a fridge? Oh, nice. There we go, it's sterilised. I better turn off my torch because I feel like that's going to let everybody know where I am. You can also throw rocks in this game if you want to, like, you know, uh, set somebody up for a stealth kill and stuff like that. Trying to see out this window. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Did he see me? No. <laughs> very blind, didn't they? Very, very blind. Oh, watch out. There's another little sod here. But we're heading over there. I think the motel sign is here. Yeah, and we're heading over there. Into that building right there. Lovely. But yeah, if you, haven't, if you haven't been watching the trailers for this game, you know, and you haven't been keeping up with the news, I mean, this was announced in 2016. So as always, it was a very long wait for this game to come out. Not yet. Still got to find a way in the Willie's garage. Got to be a fuel pump inside. Hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh, what the hell do you call them? The shit that Ripper's put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere. Oh, the Rippers are another faction of human enemies in this game. They seem like weird religious sort of enemies, you know. So you have to watch out for those guys as well. They're absolute maniacs. Oh, yeah. I'm not even sure what I was talking about now because uh, Boozer interrupted me. You completely cut me off, Boozer. I've now lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, yeah, we're looking for a fuel pump. We should find it. I think this also might be the area that I can find the upgrade uh, for my pistol that turns it into a silent pistol. I think it was inside, like, I think it was inside one of these, like, maybe it's in here. 
I think, maybe? Is that- oh, that might be it. Suppressors. Silence your guns by attaching a suppressor. Select a compatible gun in the survival wheel and press R1 to attach it. Lovely. See what I mean though? Look at that picture there. It looks like you've got a rusty tin can on your gun. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's pull it on my pistol. I don't really plan on shooting very much, you know, because I like to conserve my ammo. But like I said, if uh, someone needs to be... Oh, 2x4 or a baseball bat. I feel like a baseball bat would be better than 2x4, wouldn't it? Some more kerosene for the Molotovs. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that fuel? Fuel can. Gas cans can be used to refuel your bike and generators. Oh. While holding a gas can, L2 and R2 to throw. Oh, fantastic. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, I don't need that at the moment. I mean, if I put any, uh, any fuel in my bike at the moment, it'll be a complete waste of time because I don't have a fuel pump and it's also leaking. I thought we were looking for a fuel tank, but I guess we're looking for a fuel pump. Actually, I might need to... Oh, there's a newt over there. Yeah. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> oh, I agree. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn, what a shot! But yeah, um, if you want to know how the combat feels in this game, it is very, very similar to The Last of Us, you know? It's got that heavy sort of beefy sort of feel to it. I mean, the weapons don't have the same sort of like, Ugh, you know, where you shoot a weapon and you can like feel the force in your DualShock 4. It doesn't have that kind of feeling, but you can sort of just feel the weight of the guns with how you control Deacon, you know? Feels nice, feels quite nice. Quite nice indeed. But yeah, this is just like an open world The Last of Us, in my opinion, you know? I do prefer the clickers though. If I have to pick a freaker or a clicker, I definitely reckon clickers are the more better enemy, you know? Right, I think we've got to go up on the roof now. Lovely. I need to remember I'm playing on normal and I don't need to be as careful because I feel like I'm sneaking around a bit too much at the moment. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, Deacon has got very weak knees. He does take a lot of fall damage. I meant to smack him, not roll. Come here, you little shits. Look at them though, they look like newborn babies, don't they? Or like, young children. <laughs> does, it, does this make me a bad person? I've got no idea. I mean, this is sort of what I would do to the kids in Skyrim. You know those kids in Skyrim in that Earth city? Ah, oh, the first, the first town. White Run in it? White Run is the first, like, main place? I think it's White Run. Because I remember I teamed up with the Stormcloaks and I had to take over the town with uh, Ulfric, whatever his bloody name was, of the Stormcloaks. Oh yeah, I wish I could do that to the kids in Skyrim. When uh, Elder Scrolls 6 releases, if you're watching this video, Bethesda, please make them killable. I mean, it may sound like a disgusting thing to say, but, you know, it just it's more realistic for one. And two, you always make the kid characters irritating as fuck. So if you don't want me to smack them with a baseball bat, don't make them annoying. But if you're going to make them annoying, make them killable. Or at least hurtable. <laughs> I probably sound like a nasty bastard right now, but I'm being serious, it does annoy me. Okay, I think this might be... What was that? Oh shit, fucking hell! <laughs> I heard something that sounded like a fart, I heard. It sounded like a, like a little proper squeaky fart, I, was, I guess it was that. Fucking hell! <laughs> this game is uh, some creepy bits in this game. I've got the TV volume very low because I'm recording, you know, and I don't wear a headset. So, uh, yeah, I'm... I've... I wasn't ready for that. Looks like there's some stuff outside. Anyone out here? Nope. Oh, can we... Oh. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, we can hide in a bin. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Lovely. Oh, I've got another gas can here and a bottle. I don't actually want that. I just want the bottle. Right. I'm on 58% health now, and I only took one smack, I think. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The damage, and this is playing on normal, the damage is still pretty ridiculous, you know? Uh, we're full on kerosene. Let's see if I can build a couple of Molotovs. Yeah, I can, actually. I can build three. Oh, lovely. I don't plan on using any Molotovs. I don't think I really need to at the moment, but it's good to have a bunch. A bit more scrap. Anything in here? Anything in the bog? Oh, can I build any more of these? 
No, I can use one though. There we go. Can I loot this? There we go, lovely. Right, let's get my shotgun back out because I'm not feeling too safe in this place. Especially now I got jumped on by a scary little newt. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly though, don't start don't start jump scaring me game because I cannot deal with being jump scared. I, I absolutely hate it. You know, it absolutely infuriates me. It's not so much I get scared, it just actually angers me. I don't know why, I just get really annoyed. There's also a lot of collectibles in this game as well that you can find. Gotta be a fuel ah. in here somewhere. Here we go. This must be the fuel pump room. Got a rag. But you can also set up traps in this game as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, you can like set like little traps up and you can lure like uh, freakers into them and stuff like that, you know, which is uh, nice to do. It's quite a few little things you can do in this game. Oh, some more scrap. Don't know where the hell he's keeping all these things. I've got a little satchel, but I don't think I've got enough room to keep all the stuff that I've picked up in there. <laughs> oh, well, I guess Deacon's got Mary Poppins pockets like all the video game characters do. Ah, here we go. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep hot. Rippers! Rippers! No, no, no! Ah! Oh. Ah, shit! Rippers? Boozer? Booze man? God damn it. That was a bit of a delayed response, wasn't it? <laughs> He did, he's like, he didn't make any comments when uh, Boozer was screaming. He just sort of waited, waited for him to go quiet. And he was like, Booze man? Boozer! <laughs> Jesus, that was a terrible response, Deacon. You don't give me much uh, much hope that you even like Booze man. I like, I like uh, Boozer. He's a top guy, you know. I like him. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of this place, though. I guess we'll just come out of this door. Hang on, Booze man. Oh, Hang on. never mind. Never mind. There was somebody outside my house screaming then. I thought it was in the game. Oh, right, so we're going to go and see the Rippers now, I guess. These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! Son of bitches! Fight for man! You must be brought low, Biker Man, for you are lost, and we are found. We will show you. You are not one of the found. You are the lost. You are lost. Get low. Get low. Damn, I didn't know the Rippers were uh, Little John fans. It's Little John, innit? Get low, get low, get low, get low. Through the window! Through the car! You know, that song. Pretty old song. It's in Need for Speed, actually, one of them. I think it's on the one of them. One of the older Need for Speeds have that song in it. And it, when that comes on the radio, you just... Suddenly, you become a beast of a driver. Man, these Rippers, I don't feel like I want to kill them. You can enter cover by crouching next to it. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, if you just hold, if you just press circle, look, it'll automatically be in cover. And also, you can switch arms as usual by doing that. Just press cross. Right. Do I want to use a shotgun? Is that a bit overkill? I feel like I should just do that. Don't shoot them until they stand up because they don't seem to take damage until they stand up. Hello. Oh shit! Oh no! Quick! Back it! Batter him! Batter him! <laughs> Quick! Damn, these guys have got a lot of health. If you press triangle, you can switch your weapon quickly. Oh, right in the head. Okay, that didn't go very well. Loser. Bitches, I'm gonna kill them all. Every Loser. fucking one of them! Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. No, you don't. Oh, get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh, I didn't see them and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. Come on. 
Don't look at it. My God, they are oh, serious. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. I would never make it. Hey, uh, why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right, pretty much like we left it. Why? Well, not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm, to get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that Neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer, I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Brilliant. <laughs> Why do you take the shotgun back? Come on, can't I leave you with a pistol? Come on, come on, Boozer. For one, you're going to be asleep anyway, probably passed out after the ordeal you've been through, you know? So if anyone comes in here, then you're not going to even know, and they're going to kill you either way, but can't I just leave you with a pistol? It's a lot lighter as well, and you've only got one arm, so it's probably a bit useful you having a pistol, not a shot. Where did he even put the shotgun, actually? What the hell is it? Where's he put it? He hasn't even got it with him. I tell you, you're a dick. You're a dick, Boozer. Uh, but yeah, this right in this gun locker, this is where all of your uh, guns are stored. So if you've like, if you've got a bunch of uh, sidearms and stuff, there's me uh, gun there, and I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh hell yeah! Oh, I think this is from pre-ordering the game. Oh, this is where it is then. I haven't actually got the crossbow in my uh, game yet. Because I, I didn't know where to get it. And I didn't look at this. I clicked on the locker. I looked on the pistol bit and then I left. I, I ain't even got this in my own playthrough yet. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's where the crossbow is. But yeah, the crossbow you can refill with. Uh, you can. I think you can craft uh, You can craft bolts for it by finding wood out in the wild. So uh, having a crossbow is good. And uh, sometimes I think you can reclaim the bolts. So then you always have a bit more ammo, you know. And obviously it's silent as well, which is a benefit. But let me just grab some ammo. Three bolts. Lovely. <laughs> so let's have a look then. Where is it? Oh, oh, I don't think I can use it because I'm in here. But yeah, if you plan on saving the game, like if you want to save the game manually, you have to do it in these safe places and you have to do it near a bed. You know, you can't just do it out in the wild, you know. So make sure you are in a safe place when you're going to save the game. But yeah, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf of Wolfets. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolfets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time we're going to head off out into the wilderness. We're going to get our bike back, fix it up, and we're going to find some medical supplies for poor old Boozer over there who's been through a bit of an ordeal. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join a pack today. Oh!